Hello and welcome back to my shop. My sister loves to play soccer, so I thought a good Christmas gift for her would be a little rack that sits on her wall that can hold up a soccer ball. Because she's got a few nice soccer balls that she wants to display, but doesn't have a good way to display them. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to build her a little ball stand that sits on her wall. So here's the design I'm going for. If this is the piece against the wall, I want kind of an L shape with two tapers in it. I guess this is going to be a little more, a little more tapered, but something like that. <laughs> and at the end here, I want a little pedestal, and the pedestal's going to be a circle, and it's going to have a, or it's going to be a ring, and the ball's going to sit comfortably in this ring, just like that. So I've got these two scrap pieces. I think they're about two inches by two inches, made of uh, some kind of hardwood. It looks like oak to me, but I, I don't think I could be able to tell the difference. Um, but this is going to give me a sturdy and cool looking piece. So these are the two pieces I've got. I'm not really worried about um, making the, the ends exactly square. I'm just getting a rough shape of what I want it to look like. And I don't really care about measurements either. I'm just going by eye. If you want to know the measurements, uh, it's 11 and a quarters. And this one is 9 inches. I'm thinking about doing a through mortise. We're going to lose some length to the top. With the pieces cut down to size, I can begin roughing out the tapers on all of them. And I'm thinking about doing kind of a kind of a heavy taper on the top and both sides so the piece goes from like thick down to slender on both of them and I think that should be a really cool look. I just want to get these ends squared up nicely so that they fit together better. I'm now going to mark and cut out a mortise and tenon that will connect these two pieces together.
So for the part that actually holds the ball, I'm going to be using this scrap piece of half inch oak. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a circle. And then I'm going to trace a smaller circle on the inside. And then so I'm going to get a ring from that. And then that ring will be able to hold the ball. And the, I may chamfer the inside with my router just so that it holds the ball better. And maybe I'll chamfer the outsides too, which would give it a pretty cool look. Now this piece may get a little delicate, but hopefully I don't break it. I'm actually going to play it safe and trace out a different smaller circle. I think that should be better. So this is all glued up and it's mostly dry. It's dry enough to work. And I finished my little ring. The ring goes on top of the front and this part goes against the wall. And I'm just gonna glue this to the top. I don't think it I don't think it's gonna need any fasteners because uh, it's not gonna be under a lot of stress and I think just a glue joint will work well for it. <laughs> But I've got kind of a ledge here that I'm going to take down with a plane and um, I'm going to give it a good sand, uh, round over the corners with a chamfer bit in my router and then I'm going to start to put a finish on it. Um, I still have yet to decide what finish I want um, because it is, so today is Christmas Eve so I'm going to do a quick drying finish that will allow me to wrap it today and give it to her tomorrow. I just mixed up some glue and sawdust and I'm going to use it as a paste to fill in a bunch of these little holes and a little bit of the gap on the seam. I will sand it down later.
Well, this is the finished piece. I'm pretty proud of it, and I think it will look great in her room. I cannot wait to see it up on the wall with a ball on it. I drilled these two holes at the bottom because I figured the easiest way to install it would be to drill two screws connecting the, this piece to the stud, but there's probably other, maybe better ways to fasten it. And I don't think I'm going to hide the screws at all. I mean, I could plug them with something, but right now it is 7.40 uh, on Christmas Eve, and I'm not really feeling like making plugs right now, so maybe I will later, I, but I doubt it. Um, <laughs> here it is. I tried to make it something that was easy to duplicate out of the stock that I have because she may want another one or a third in order to really kind of make make a collection, which I think would be really cool if she did that. Kind of three of these all in a row, three balls on it. Yeah, that'd be nice. But I hope you are inspired by what I made to design your own or copy what I just did. And good luck. Bye.